Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Procrastinating Renaissance Soul. It's me, Laura, of course, always driving, never having time to make videos because I am a uh, procrastinator. Welcome. So, I did not make a one year video because my computer is ancient dinosaur and all my videos, like early on videos, are on there. And, um, I couldn't slice them together. It was just running so, so, so slow. I will eventually one day get a computer and I probably will not make a video like that. I'm um, sorry the sun is like really bright right there in my face. Um, so yeah, I am one year out from my BSG by one year and 20 days. <laughs> um, I'm good. I feel great. Uh, my weight today ooh, was like 167. I don't really remember what it was last time. It was probably like 165. At one point when I got from back from Jamaica, I know it was 162, but I'm pretty sure it's because I was dehydrated because I drank too much. So, um, I see I really lost any weight, but I am the most fit I have ever been in my entire life the way I am right now. Like my muscles are really showing in my shoulders and uh, I know I'm wearing a crazy shirt so you really can't see all that stuff but just when I was working out today I could really see like the cut in the arm right here this shape and I was just like this is where I want to be you know of course for the obvious like skin removal that I'm having done in less than four weeks which I'm just every time I say it out loud my heart kind of races I'm not scared for myself I'm just like um my control freak in me is like did as much research as I you know possibly could but I just still am nervous and still I'm excited, nervous, unaware of, not unaware, but I'm not all knowing on what my body is going to look like afterwards. I am putting my body and faith in a doctor that, you know, just hoping that I get good results from. Um, so my prep mentally right now is stay busy, stay working, and to have a good head on my shoulders between now and, and plastic surgery day. Um, just trying to stay positive. Um, I have an appointment with a cardiologist on Monday. I went for my clearance with my regular doctor for my surgery. And everything was fine, but my EKG showed a really low heart rate of like 46. And normal, like if you're unhealthy and overweight, that's very dangerous. But if you're a healthy athletic person, it's not a big of a deal because you're, it just means your heart isn't working as hard to pump the blood through. Like when I work out, my heart rate raises. Like today I worked out and I got up to like 168, you know, doing HIIT. So, and it went back down. It went back down very, very sufficiently, just, I recover very fast. Um, I did a, a 15K two weeks ago, and it was great. I finished it in an hour, 29 minutes, and 30 seconds. My goal was an hour and a half, so I beat it by 30 seconds, and I know it's just 30 seconds, but such a big deal. So, I feel very confident that my results Monday will show good things and my doctor will be like, okay, you're fine. Boop. Um, but there is that little inkling inside me that's like, oh my God, what if I'm broken? <sighs> but everything has like, my blood work shows great. Everything except that old pesky heart rate, which is just a joke for me anyways. Like when I'm working out, you know, people will like my, uh, fitness instructor she's like Laura wake up I'm like I'm here I'm just a very relaxed person with zero 
like outward stress. Definitely internalize a lot, but most of the time I'm just chill. So yeah, did my race and the next day I saw Hanson. So that was so fun. I saw them in Orlando and definitely had a uh, fun time that evening as well. I can't really go into it, so I won't. But nothing bad happened. <laughs> but it was great. Um, and yeah, so I jumped up and down right after running a race. Like, it was so good and I feel like the best I've felt so I'm just really hoping the cardiologist delivers similar news of greatness and goodness and everything will proceed as planned I have packed my back for surgery already because uh, I was bored and I was looking at my pile of comfy clothes that I bought and I was like I should pack I'm not going anywhere between now and then so my uh my antsiness got the better of me and I packed up and I'll probably re will repack because that's what I do and um aside from like toiletries and stuff like that but it's getting so real like the emails between me and the patient coordinator are just getting more and more that I am like oh my god it's here it's here it's here it's here it's here it's here um so just review on what I am doing plastic surgery wise on April 16th I'm going to Dr. Moise Salama down in Miami, Florida. I am having a tummy tuck with muscle repair um, and lipo to flanks. I am getting a breast lift with breast augmentation. I am not sure on the implant size yet as I stay, I wanna stay very natural. Definitely not as big as I was at my largest. I don't wanna be a double D. I would be perfectly content with perky C boobs and keep it happy like that. I don't know why C is just a great number or a great letter. Letter or a letter. We use a letter. Um, and I am having a mini arm tuck done. So the mini arm tuck goes in your armpit and they do like a little wedge out and they just pull it all together. I'm a little anxious about that, especially with what I do professionally. So I'm hoping that the healing is swift and it, the, the tissue connection is strong enough that it will not break. I made a handsome quote, sort of. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Just a kind of a mental mess, but excited mental mess and just really working to <laughs> keep myself busy. Working out and working. Working out, working. Earning Hanson Day money. Earning Jamaica money. Earning while well, I'm out money. That's what I'm doing. Working, working, working. Alrighty. I'm going to let everyone go. Thank you so much for those still hanging tight with me. I really appreciate it. Alright, I will see you guys later. Bye.